Good afternoon YouTube, it's Neonex to see what we're talking update for the 15th of um, October, which was our, my tourney, local tourney day. Okay, uh, round one I went up against Shazeb, who was running a form of Chaos Plants with um, Mystic Tomatoes in. Um, game one, I totally annihilated him, he couldn't really get anything on the field. Um, I'm just checking my phone here because I wrote certain memos down. Um, so, yeah, uh, t game one, I annihilated him. Game two, I paid for it in double. Um, he came back and severely whooped my ass. You know, no two ways about it. It was just hurt up, Caius, remove. Tribute Caius for Caius, remove again. It was just like, oh, great. So, Caius, I don't doubt it's a good card. It's an annoying card. I'm not a big fan of the Monarchs, but I will admit, it it works. Don't worry about it. It works. Um, well, arcs are pretty good. If that's the sort of thing you want to do. But anyway, uh, so game two I lost, and then game three, I was trying all I could to go up against him. It was just oh, it was so you know that feeling when you get really bad hands. I opened up with like spells, traps and like an effect veiler. It was things like MSTs, Call the Haunted and bollocks like that with an effect veiler in hand. It was one of the worst hands my deck has ever given me. Um, but then again we've all been there. You know, no one wins all the time. Like I said in one of my previous videos, no one wins all the time because no one knows absolutely everything about the game. Puff from Kazuki Takashi himself and he probably don't even know that much anymore. Um, so yeah, it was just beat me down on Mystic Tomato and I just eventually died. You know, I really couldn't do anything. So I gladly shook his hand and said, you know, fair game, mate. I didn't draw anything good. It made me fair and square. No problems with that. Um, then game two. Yeah, game two I won against Ben. A, team member, uh, a member of Team Chaos um, Sandwich. Uh, they're based in Dover. They're not local, as such. So uh, shout outs to you guys. Um, it was for running a former Black Wings. Um, it ran Thunder Kings. Uh, so obviously, I think it was trying to run BLS or Chaos or something in there. Um, if not, then whatever. But um, yeah, um, he kind of made a few misplays. Like I tried to bait out his Cyber Dragon with my. Uh, so I tried to bait out his Thunder King with my Cyber Dragon. That sounds better. Uh, I tried to bait out his Thunder King with my Cyber Dragon. Um, he let it go through. Which I thought was a bit weird. Because uh, he was just literally sitting on Thunder King. And I just proceeded to run his Thunder King over. So. There you go. He made a few mistakes. Um, which ends up. Losing in the match because I annihilated him 2-0. But even if he had attributed his Thunder King to negate my uh, special summon my Cyber Dragon, I believe I had something like a Zombie Master in hand to come back with and just poke, you know, get the poking going because everyone loves a good poke, 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 poke. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, ended up having a field of Brionic, Guy Knight, and Stardust, I believe, on the field. Um, in that game, he did try and solemn judgment the summon of my Black Lost Soldier Envoy at the beginning. In which case, I just went dark bribe. And he's, he's like, oh, what? And I'm like, well, solemn judgment does that. You know, you pay half your life points just for it to get negated. You know, you pay 4,000 life points to draw one card. Now, you guys weigh out the pros and cons of that. 4,000, one card. To me, Solemn Judgment, I, I've never really liked the card. It does a lot of things, but the price is a bit too hefty. Um, people will use it at the beginning of the door quite silly, really. Um, I understand that there's three embassies and a heavy storm around, so you want to use it and put your opponents uh, at a disadvantage as much as possible. But I personally don't like the card. It has too much of a hefty price, and for me it's only a towards-the-end-of-the-game card where you have minimal life points anyway. Or whether you've got a life point gain deck and you just don't really care if you throw away half of them because you'll just make it up anyway. 
Uh, for instance, if you have me uh, magical android on the field and you're just bumping up your life points each turn. But yeah, sorry Ben, but you know, shit happens. Nine nine eight is you two zero. Fair game to you, mate. I shook you by the hand. Yeah, you're you're a cool guy. I've got no problems with you. I've got no problems with any member of your team. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys again. So, moving on to game three. Or was it four? I can't remember if, if this was game three or four, right? Um, and I can't remember which order it was in. It was if one of the two games I went up against James Williams and Kyle Curry, and the other game went up against another member of Team Chaos Sandwich, which was Oleg, uh, with his Blackwing Chaos deck. Um, so, I believe I went up against Oleg game three because I remember after playing James Williamson. And I went and faced Scapegoat user in round f four, no round five. So yeah, I must have played uh, for Oleg in uh, game three. So but anyway, he's running a Blackwing Chaos deck, a lot like his teammate. Um, once again, proceeded to go two zero over him. Um, cool enough guy, you know, had fun all. Um, anything he just brought out, I just either ran over or negate the summon of. He did try and drop a, I believe it was a Black Dust Soldier or something like that. And I just proceeded to go, Black Horn of Heaven. Sorry, mate. You know, Black Horn of Heaven is a pretty good card. And Gate Synchro Summon, XE Summon, Special Summon like Cyber Dragon and BLS, Chaos Sorcerer, things like that. You know, it's a really good card. If you guys can pick up, if any of you guys watching my videos can pick up Black Horn of Heavens, I'd recommend at least side decking it because it is that good. Um... So yeah, not really much to say about that match. Um, went pretty similar as facing no leg. Game three, obviously James Williamson. Uh, game one, I lost terribly. Uh, it was just Karakuri spam. They just kept on Karakuri just kept on coming out, and you kept on drawing off Barredo, switch this, special on this, to draw this, and it was just like, oh my god. Yeah, I really couldn't do anything. Um, Game two, however, I started in a few cards. I started in my Chimeratech Fortress Dragon, uh, a couple of Bottomless, and I believe my third effect Baylor. Not too sure. No, I think it was Phoenix Chain. It was something anyway. <coughs> um, so, yeah. So, game two ends up winning by the skin of my teeth. It was a really close match. Um, didn't get to use Camaratech Fortress Dragon that game, I don't think, but game three I did, which ended up winning me the game because I just went, you yeah, have a feel for the machines, right? Yep. Special Summon Cyber Dragon, contact user of all of them, which is a machine deck player worst nightmare. I mean, there's nothing worse than having all your shit stolen by an opponent's Cyber Dragon, which makes me glad at times that our main deck is Cyber Dragon, you know, it forces out Thunder King and it also um, confused with other machine types from Camaratech Fortress Dragon. Um, really good game, uh, close match, because um, obviously it went to three games, uh, had a lot of fun against you James if you're watching this video, um, so yeah I also got an interview with him which you guys have probably seen, um, before the whole you're not allowed to film thing, so yeah, um, so then round five, obviously I went against Josh, I won, I believe I won the first match, he pwned me the second match, and I won the third, in time. Uh, really good match mate, uh, it's been match, I was running Flame Veil Zombies, I was running Chaos Zombies. Uh, Flame Veil Zombies are a force to be reckoned with, but I just prefer Chaos because I've always liked Chaos Sorcerer and things. Um, now that Black Dust Sorcerer just makes Chaos even more powerful. It's not as if I switched over to Chaos because of the format, I've always been running Chaos for about a year now, so I just always like the old Chaos archetype, and the zombie engine just gets things done, you know. Um, what I can say about game five, at round five, um, game three against uh, Josh, Skategoat user, is Brionic wins games. Plain and simple. Um, I can definitely see why Brionic is a staple in the extra deck. Um, it's not as costly as it used to be, it's about 20 to 30 pounds now. Um, so if you guys save up a bit, uh, you can get it. I was lucky enough a few years back when I first started dueling, and Brionic was just, it literally just come out. 
and now fellow teammate, Mr. Uh, not Mr. Sasuke Dragon, Zane Truesdale, 1987. Um, he traded me his Brionic. Uh, he had no real use for it. We were mates. We did, like, he just needed a couple of little bits. He didn't really want much for it. I didn't have much, which was the thing. So we just decided to call it quits. He gave me Brionic. I gave him a few bits. And um, the rest is history. So I was quite lucky. At the end of the day, as, the job, as people in the job market say, it's not what you know, it's who you know. At the end of the day. Um, so people, you may know people who can actually get you pretty solid cards, you know. So yeah, um, went four one. Pretty happy with that. Would have been nice to get into the top four, but then again, shit happens, you know. Um, better luck next time. That's all I can say. Better luck next time. Um, updates and everything now. Um, as you see, I've um, got. Done a couple of deck list videos, Chaos Zombies and Junk. Um, nothing's really changed about the Red Eyes deck, apart from just sticking in Heavy Storm. Um, no, I don't think there's really much else. I uh, picked up some Wicked Trades recently. Uh, just quickly show you some of that. Uh, I'll just be seeing Mr. Sasuke Dragons pretty soon, so we might do a binder update. We're becoming pretty popular at our locals now for our really good trades. But I was really impressed. Um, I picked up this little beauty just yesterday. Yes, you are seeing that right. It is Tour Guide of the Underworld, first edition. Got that from a um, place that's uh, recently opened up. Uh, not mentioning names. Um, so, got that from a little place. Mate, mate of mine works there. Um, so got that for a fair, quite a fair price. Um, obviously, we have got to, just a quick look at our front page. We got two ultra effect values of rare, two ghost rares. Uh, one's Odin, one is Rainbow Neos. Vision here, Trinity and Adoration, Tour Guide, and Libya. Um, picked up from a jar under bomb yesterday. A um, ultra miracle fusion for myself. So shout outs to him and. Super ID Crow as trade bait. Um, also picked up off him the other day a solemn warning. So that's pretty nice. So our binders getting the team binder is getting pretty uh, blinged out, as people would say. Um, some other highlights we've got like three ultra car troopers and things like that. So yeah. Um, but yeah, um, not much to really say. Uh, please subscribe to Team Wasp One UK's team channel. Mr. Sasuke Dragon is currently running that channel due to having the account faults of his own. So he's uploading all this shit onto there. And um, if you guys like my videos, you'll like his videos as well. So I recommend you go and find Team Wasp One UK. That is T E A M W A T A P O N. UK. I had to think there. <laughs> Long last name. But um, yeah, I recommend you go check our team channel out. I recommend you subscribe to Scooter User, Dark Magician84, because he is a legend. He came down the other week uh, for our tournament and it was really nice seeing him in person. So shout outs to you, Richie. Uh, hooked us up some pretty sweet gear. Um, Ojama the Bomb, you know. Um, Ojama the Bomb is. Uh, on a temporary trial basis with us, um, he's uh, been helping us out a lot of things lately. Um, so yeah, uh, he's a pretty good ally to the team. Um, what else? I don't think there's much else really. So Skate User, Emma Blois Ten, Keller Shade, Mr. Sasuke Dragon, Saint Trust in nineteen eighty seven, Dot Regician eighty four. If I already mentioned him, I'm sorry. Oh, the bomb of a bomb. Um, Team Chaos Sandwich um, and all my other loyal subscribers you know um, the entire KCP cast shout out to you guys you guys are awesome uh, wouldn't be here today if it weren't for you guys so yeah uh, we're approaching 15 minutes now so it's, yeah, next is signing out peace